Hey everyone, Irene Lyon here. Welcome to this video, to this channel, and this entire world of healing, trauma, nervous system health, and all things neuroplasticity. If you have been following me for a bit, you know that I've been sharing old clips from my longer form special topic lectures and Q&As in short form here, and I wanted to do an intro to the one I want to, to share with you today. Um, this one was from uh, a lecture called What It Means to Be trauma-informed and I will link that somewhere near this so just be on the lookout for that if you want to watch the full episode and lecture. Today what I'm highlighting is a clip about five minutes long where I talk about the importance of adult, the little people, i.e. children, infants, learn how to be in their bodies and learn how to self-regulate and of course co-regulate and do all the things that they need to learn as little humans. Um, as we know, how that interaction occurs will greatly impact the health and well-being, mental, physical, relational of them when they are young and then when they get older. And there's often this thought that if a child is acting out, if they are having trouble with their emotions, that there's inherently something wrong with them. And while the issue might be occurring behaviorally in them, Often, now not always, but often there is a misattunement occurring with their primary caregiver. This doesn't just have to be the parent, it could be a school teacher, a babysitter, a grandpa, an uncle, an aunt, an older sibling. So many adults interact with young children and infants and how well we are regulated and attuned to our internal environment will, will make it such that we are more able to attune to their internal environment and pick up on the cues that we may need to pick up on to help them self-regulate through our interaction, our attunement, our co-regulation with them. So in this video, I get into that and I wanted to highlight this video because we have a lot of questions, my team and I, from usually parents, but often grandparents and school teachers asking how if I have exercises for kids, for, um, for kids basically, because they have behavior related issues, maybe they have what we would consider or classify as ADD, anxiety, depression, etc. And sometimes direct work with kids is important, and I don't want to get into that today, but usually um, it's something in their environment that they are sensing, that they are feeling, that is putting them off course, off kilter. And often, again, I generalize here, but very often when the primary adult caregiver is better able to listen to them and attune to their physiology, this isn't about necessarily cognitively talking to them because let's face it, a baby can't talk to us, but we can listen to their physiology. When we have that on board, we are better able to care for our young teach them, teach them self-regulation, etc., etc. So at the end of the day, this could be considered as sort of part one to what everyone needs to know if they are working with, being with, or raising kiddos, infants, children, and even teenagers. All right, have a listen. And like I said, if you want to watch the full video, it is somewhere near this video, close to this video. Take good care. So when it comes to, let's just say, children, parents, one of the things about being trauma-informed slash human-informed is learning how to listen to these cues, being attuned to them. And it starts super young. It starts the moment little one comes into the world, we want to connect. So part of understanding this human-informed, trauma-informed concept when a little child, so if you can remember my five words, one of them was education. I have found that us humans at this point in time, we really need to understand the education of the nervous system. And so as a quick aside, and I have many other videos that talk about this, um, one is called How to Create Healthy Humans, starts here, we'll post it. Um, when we come out as little ones, as little humans, we don't have the capacity to self-regulate. And we know this, a child comes out and they can't just start walking right away. Like certain animals in the wild, they are 100% dependent on an older, more mature 
human to care for them, to feed them, to clothe them, to keep them safe, all these things, to keep them warm, et cetera, et cetera. That primary attunement at the beginning gives that child the ability to learn how to feel themselves with safety. So then there comes that other word, safety. And so when we are raising children, we have to really, really listen to their biological needs. And often where that gets thrown off is when the caregiver can't listen to their own biological needs. So it's this very weird cycle we've gotten into as humans where we've cut off due to society, conditioning, the rat race, all the stuff, we've cut off these natural impulses in our system. And so we then have this little person that comes out and a lot of times parents have no clue what to do. They're terrified. And from what I've seen, from what I've felt in talking with um, moms and dads who have parented and had ease and parented have had difficulty, it's that listening to their own physiology, being informed, human informed with their body allows them to be more connected with that little one and all the different sounds, all the different whimpers, all the different little pieces and signals that gives them a quality that puts out to the caregiver that says, I need this. And so from that very base level, when we have our needs met without any conditions, right? We're hungry, we get fed, we have this, this happens, et cetera. That sets up the nervous system to be healthy and learn self-regulation. Now, the reason why that's important is because when that little human grows up, the more attuned they are and more attached they are to their caregiver, the better they will be human informed when they get older. They will build self-regulation through that connection with the parent, which then gives them what we call healthy nervous system function. When you have that on board, you are better able to empathize with everything else in the world. I'm making a huge, huge leap from childhood infancy to adulthood. I hope this is making sense. So when we get that from the beginning, this is like that utopic concept of if all babies could be cared for with attunement, safety, connection, if all the caregivers have that in themselves, it just naturally transfers. And then when that naturally transfers, that little human grows up to be healthy and robust. Doesn't mean they won't have stressors, traumas occur to them, but when we have that foundation, we bounce back a lot faster. So with that said, that's kind of a very foundational start to this concept of being trauma informed, because when we have that, we know what to do when someone is hurting. When that little one grows up to be a parent themselves, they then have the wiring to know what to do when their little people are in their world, when they're looking after their offspring and so on and so on. But so many of us, um, so many of us didn't get that. I would say if you're here and you know you're suffering from various signs and symptoms of trauma and dysregulation, chances are you didn't get that. And that is something to grieve, that is something to connect to. And then the next question is now, what can you do in your current world to change that pattern in your family system?